what is considered cute when done by a kid, but illegal when done by an adult. I don't really know what to expect from this thread, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm scared. Story 1. Being completely honest with people. Edit. Wow, my comment went big, and thank you for the silver kind stranger, it's my first time. I envy my kid for this. One day we were going on vacation to visit family. At the airport, someone asked him what he was going to do, where we were going. He had a little bit of a confused look for half a second, and then, very matter of fact, he said, whatever I want, in a tone like the person asked a stupid question. I think about that every day. He also pointed to a group of seniors off the bus from the nursing home in a field trip to Blue Plate Special Restaurant and proclaimed, Dad, look at all those almost dead people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should laugh at that, but I am also going to start using that as a term for old people who are jerks. Wait, nope, that makes me sound like a murderer, doesn't it? <laughs> Damn it. It really is only cute when kids do it. That's not fair. Story two. My friend, when he was just crawling apparently, was at a beach with his mom. She looked away for a second and he'd crawled over to a nearby topless sunbather sleeping on her back and tried to suckle on her. Obviously she screamed and it didn't get far, but after much embarrassment they did all laugh it off. As an adult, that's probably prison time. As a literal baby it could have been much worse depending on the woman's response. At that age a topless beach probably looks like a buffet. Story 3. When I was 5 or so, I went to a baseball game with my dad and he wouldn't let me get popcorn. I really wanted popcorn. I walked away and sat on a random man's lap, plus started eating his popcorn. I closed my eyes and pretended like I thought it was my father. Like, oh dad, you got me popcorn, thanks. <laughs> because my child mind thought my dad would believe I thought it was him and wouldn't get mad. I don't think it would be very cute as a 21 year old. Best thing I've read all day. I've got to say, I don't know if that is illegal for an adult to do, but it would certainly be extremely frowned upon. Or extremely smiled upon, which might be an even bigger concern. Either way, best to avoid for all ages, honestly. Story 4. My two-year-old stroked a flight attendant's behind with both hands as she was shifting something in the overhead bin next to our seat. Her skirt was very tight-fitting, right in front of his face, and I guess he just looked thought it looked nice to touch. She whipped her head around at light speed with a glare to send the offender up in flames. When she saw it was just a toddler and I apologized, she looked relieved and laughed. The way she reacted though made me think she probably has had that happen way too often by grown, gross dudes. Story 5. Running around in public, naked. My three-year-old was being potty trained at the time and I took him to McDonald's after his vaccinations to cheer him up. He had a great time until he announced to me that he wet himself. So I go to my bag to get a change of trousers and pants to hear people laughing and I look up from my bag. He dropped his trousers and pants to the floor and was shuffling to the bathroom door with them around his ankles with a big grin on his face, just his little butt exposed. I couldn't even be embarrassed, it was too funny. Story 6. Taking shortcuts through people's yards. Those were the days. I did this the other day. It cut almost half a mile off my trip, but as I was being nice and going around the flower beds, the guy came out and started yelling at me. I just rolled up my windows and turned up the music. Story 7. My mom always loved to tell how when I was first being potty trained. When I had to go number two, I would pull my pants down in the living room before trotting to use the toilet pants around ankles. Something tells me it wouldn't go over as well now. I did that once at preschool, stopped at the bathroom drawer to drop my pants before going inside to use it. Don't think my classmates noticed, but a teacher did and told me not to do that. I wasn't embarrassed by it either, but I do remember thinking at the moment that just maybe this isn't quite how it's supposed to go, but I'm going to do it anyway because of convenience. I mean, in your own house, it certainly isn't illegal to do. Frankly, it's a little freeing. Sometimes a little necessary if you ate too much dairy and time is of the essence so you need to strip as you go because things are going to happen the moment tush meets seat. Uh, theoretically, not anything I would know about. Story 8. As Ray Romana said, when your kid discovers he can get an erection for the first time and runs out of the bathtub going pee pee big, pee pee big, it is cute and all. When grandpa does it, it is sad and disgusting. But grandpa has more reason to be happy. Gramps used hardened. It was very effective. For now. Story 9. Saying they want to marry their mom or dad. Yikes. 
My nephew, who is five, was having a sleepover with my son, who is four. We were eating dinner, and somehow the subject of husband and wife came up, and my nephew asked who my husband was. I'm not married, so I explained that I didn't have one. He nonchalantly said, Well, that's okay, because you will just marry your dad. He can be your husband. Nope, buddy, that's not how it works. Story 10. When they ask a question and follow it by saying, Don't say no. Or, when they wait outside your bathroom door asking details of what you're doing in there, like, Do you have a penis or two butts? My son asks a question by saying, Daddy, I think you'll say no to this, but... Honestly, certainly isn't illegal for adults to do that. In fact, I can guarantee it because I've met adults who do that. The don't say no thing, that is. Not asking if I have a... No, actually, I have met adults who do that too. Especially these days. And those people need to learn to mind their own frickin' business. Story 11. Not sure if this really answers the question, but I work in an elementary school, and one day a group of seven-year-old girls ran up to me at recess asking if they could go bye-bye. I said sure, and they jumped onto the ground and pretended to sleep. A few minutes later, they ran up to me asking if they could come-come, and I just stood there processing for a minute. I didn't need seven-year-old girls running around saying, Mr. Blank said we can come-come. So I sent them to their primary teacher. I guess it wouldn't be an illegal for an adult to ask to come-come, but I sure as hell would be creeped out. Story 12. I remember when I first moved to my new house, one of my neighbors, who had autism, somehow broke into my house and started looking around. The next day, he apologized and said to me, He looked cute doing it as a kid, but now he's 17. It's just scary. Edit. I forgot to say that his dad was the one who apologized. Oops. Story 13. My three-year-old ran up to a large man with a shirt too small for his body at a barbecue joint in Chicago and gave him a big hug. He thought it was cute and walked away. When I asked her why she hugged him, she told me so I could lick him. She licked the man's underbelly. Imagine the man's utter confusion when he walks away and feels a cold patch on his underbelly. <laughs> <laughs> what? No! I just... I can't even... Kids are so gross, but that's pretty funny, but also no! <laughs> Story 14. When a kid draws on the wall, sometimes people will think it's cute and creative. When an adult draws on the wall, it's called vandalism. Unless they've been commissioned, then they are an artist, and the drawing is now very important for some reason. Story 15. Sit on people's laps. Demand to be picked up. I don't know. Had a tiny girlfriend once. She was always on my lap. Though she hated being picked up. People seemed to think it was okay just because she was little. Yeah, don't pick people up who don't want to be picked up. I'm especially saying this to you, gym bros, who are like, But I could lift you. I don't care if you can lift me. I don't want uppies. Thank you very much. Trust me, if I wanted you under me, it would be in a different way where you could really put that endurance to work. Story 16. My two-year-old daughter smacked a random lady's booty at the grocery store because she sees me do that to her mom at home. It was funny, but if she was 16 years older, that might be s assault. My son did that to a waiter when he was about 18 months. The waiter was not amused. I wanted to crawl into a hole. Story 17. Peeing outside. When my son went through potty training, we'd let him pee in the backyard or outside somewhere if he didn't think he could make it to a bathroom. He'd get all excited, turn around, pull his pants down, and his little baby butt would just be facing everybody while he peed. It was great, lol. I believe they still put people on S-offender lists for peeing in public as adults. Story 18. Being attracted to other kids. Ugh. Story 19. Whipping down your pants and having a pee anywhere you like. I love hearing the phrase having a pee. I wish people said it where I am from. Story 20. Seems like a bunch of people have already mentioned public nudity, so I'll go with murder. You must have had a really effed up childhood. Yeah, I mean, if a little toddler killed someone, they wouldn't go to jail, so I guess it, like, isn't totally illegal? <laughs> But the prompt did say that it should be something that's considered cute when a kid does it. I would describe a toddler murdering someone in a lot of ways, but probably not cute. Story 21. When a kid walks up to a random person and pukes on them, nothing bad happens. But when I puke on random people, it's illegal and concerning. Like, what the F? Story 22. Kissing other kids on the cheek when they didn't technically consent. Oh, Timmy likes Anne. How cute. Versus, 
bro, who the F are you? Story 23. A baby can drink from a bottle and fall asleep, and it's cute. When I drink a bottle and go to sleep, I got problems. Story 24. My toddler, too, once ran around our house naked, sat in my lap, took a crap, and left. Does that count? Was cute until she crapped. Then it was funny after I calmed down. I mean, it might be illegal for an adult to do that, but it's a power move. If you don't get arrested for it, the person you pooped on is now... Well, I'm not sure what they are, but you've definitely got power over them. Story 25. Grabbing all tatas because you think they mean food. Story 26. Crapping yourself and then crying in the middle of a supermarket while sitting in a trolley. Story 27. Not paying taxes. Ah, look at little Johnny not filing a 1040. How cute. I disagree. I think it's adorable. At least that is what I kept telling the judge. Story 28. Opening lemonade stands on the side of the road. Story 29. Sticking your head under ladies' dresses. Hmm, the dress here is made out of dress. Story 30. Playing doctor. Frank Abagnale has entered the chat. Story 31. Calling 911 to get a happy meal, or due to a lost teddy bear. Story 32. Sucking on your mom's tatas. Story 33. Dressing up as a cop. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.